Feeling blue without you Give me one more chance Give me one more dance Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about Ofra Cosmetics. I actually picked up a bunch of awesome products that they had on sale and I got one hell of a deal out of it and I actually received all three packages today for all three orders and uh, yeah. Real quick I'll go over some quick little numbers with you. Um, Total between all three orders, I spent $126.80. And the retail value of everything, if it wasn't on sale and I had to buy it at its regular price, was $429 altogether. So everything I ordered between all three orders, I saved $302.20 on everything, which in my opinion, ain't really that bad. I spent an average of $42 per order. Not terrible. You're going to have to excuse the trashy looking box because I already opened these to make sure I got everything that I ordered. But look at how cute that is. Okay. Okay. You know what? Ofer does, Ofer really packs their orders really well. So I wouldn't ever worry about, I wouldn't ever worry about, um, you know, having broken items come from them because their packing is damn good. Cute little pamphlet telling you about some of their new stuff. My order invoice, so I can tell you what I spent on what item. There's only two items in this order. First off are these little itty bitty cleaner wipes. I wanted to try them and see how good they are. I paid $3 for this pack. I did order another pack with another one of my orders. I went back and checked the Ofra website today and they're actually on sale for like $2.50. So if I like these, I'm definitely going back to buy some more of those. Next in here is the Pro Face Palette. And um, this Pro Palette is their Bright Addictions Palette. As you colors and everything right here in the back. Honestly, this is this is a huge palette. It really is. Um, this one was forty or fifty percent off, and then I had an extra ten percent off code that I used on this. This was the most expensive item I bought out of everything. It was forty seven dollars and forty cents plus that extra ten dollars off that I had. And that is what that looks like. It has this protector on the front, but I ordered it because of the really bright colors in here. They're supposed to be really rich and pigmented as well. The thing I like about the Ofra palettes is that they are all magnetic. So you can take these pans out and swap them whatever way you want. If you have a magnetic palette such as this one from Tarte that I'm showing you right now that is just empty. You can pop your favorite shades in there and customize a different palette on your own if you didn't feel like using this. However, the only thing I'm disappointed in the price point with this for is because this is the standard cardboard type material that's used for palettes. And for the price point that they originally sell these at, I was expecting like a, like a thick plastic almost to be better. Because this originally retails for $99 on its own when it's not on sale. So I had a little bit higher expectations for that one, but that's okay. That's it for that box. Get into box number two. I get so excited like I know I ordered it and I paid for it but I love love getting packages in the mail I got super excited about them and here of course is my other extra thing of wipes that I ordered I'm gonna take everything out of the box real quick to get to the invoice at the bottom once again packed amazingly well crush rate 
crush weight boxes too so they don't get you know stomped on and another little postcard for some new items once again these what's three dollars pack not terrible they sell for i believe eight dollars a pack next in here is this mini little compact so i have an obsession with ofra highlighters thanks to ipsy getting full-size ofra highlighters and some of their stuff this is the mini compact version so this is a, a lot tinier than the ones you get in ipsy are those are eight gram pans and this is a four gram pan but this one is in star island it's beautiful i paid nine dollars for this the full size of those are 35. next in here i actually ordered three of their lipsticks each one of these was on sale each one has a different price so let's start out with the shade bardo bardo was a three dollar lipstick this is it looks black but it's a very dark plummy purple which i'm excited to use because i like doing a lighter eye and, or a darker eye and a nude lip or a light eye and a dark lipstick it just helps with the contrast next would be aruba this one is a nude, but it is a nude metallic, and Aruba was $4.20. Bardo was, Bardo was $3, so that was actually really cheap. And the other one that's in here is Manhattan. Manhattan is like a lighter, richer, berry pinkish purple. And this was the most expensive one. I paid $8.40 for this, but you gotta keep in mind, every Ofra lipstick, um, they're expensive. They're like $20 a piece. They're not cheap. However, Ofra has one of the best formulas for liquid lipsticks, so not gonna complain. And the last part of this box is the another pro face palette this one is their free spirit pro face palette and this was 27 dollars get it out of its carton this one was 27 dollars once again the papery cardboard carton container i was expecting more like a heavy duty plastic type thing but you know it's okay this is actually a palette for a full face. You have a highlighter wheel here, a highlighter here, a banana setting powder brown underneath your eyes, bronzer, bronzer, blush, your eyeshadows, and these down here, I'm not quite sure what they are. They're mattes, so I'm guessing eyeshadows too, or maybe you can use them as contour if you wanted, or bronzer. But, I bought this because it has everything in it and this would be a cute palette to travel with it's literally got everything and like i said it has this right here if you were just to buy this highlighter wheel alone that they do sell individually 35 dollars okay 35 dollars 27. not a bad deal just in my opinion Put that one to the side, shall we? And then, last but not least, this ginormico box. It's not even one of the cute pretty boxes, but that's because this one is holding some bigger, thicker items. And I got, oh, it comes with a book. I wonder what the book's for. Excuse me as I dig through the box. I also like to mention that each of the little Ofra boxes it came with this little packet right here of hand sanitizer to use, which is actually really, really sweet of them. Another pamphlet, obviously, same thing. And shipping invoice. Okay. Let's get into this. The first thing in here I'm actually really excited about. I know this came out years ago and like I'm super late 
but they were on sale for $15 and they're normally like 25 that's Dakota hi Coda <laughs> this is the lipstick collaboration between Ofra and Nikki tutorials and I absolutely love Nikki tutorials she's bomb so this in here the shades in here are you gonna tell me on the box no I guess I'm gonna have to open. Let's go take a peek. I know Ofra has since rebranded with packaging and stuff, and I'm kind of happy they did. I like the overall white aesthetic now versus the black that they used to have, and I'm not going to lie, I dig the square components for their lipsticks. This first one is like a corally pink metallic. This is in the color Spell was right up my alley. I love bright things. This next one is a very beautiful bronzy metallic and this one is in the color Coven. And then this last one is just a plain up straight regular nude. Pretty close to what I'm wearing right now and it's called Nude Potion. Honestly, I love each and every single one of these. I'm so glad to actually uh, <laughs> add more to my Ofra collection that I have. Um, I actually only have one Ofra lipstick um, before I bought all of these and I love it. So if the formula is the same, all of these are going to be freaking bomb. It's just what I'm saying. Next in here, you see this big, beautiful box. It actually contains a small palette. This is from the Francisca Toulat Ofra collaboration. It's even got its own little fancy bobs. Ooh, okay, see, this is the packaging. This is the packaging I was expecting on the bigger ones. The plastic heavy duty component kind of like the heavy duty plastic components that their individual shades or their highlighters come in open that up look at how pretty those are so you end up with let's see here three six eight eyeshadows and a mini highlighter in there and I know the mirror looks blurry, that's just because it has the protective film on it, but that is absolutely beautiful. This is called the Infinite Palette. Ooh, they got some really cool names in here. So they got Venus, Chartreuse, Mood, 10K, Aurora, Tempest. They got some really fancy names in there. I like that. This right here. The Infinity Palette was $21 on sale. Not terrible. Not honestly, I've spent a lot more on a palette before. Like Milk Cosmetics, um, I bought their Rust Palette and <laughs> I spent $58 on that and you get 10 pans, honey. That's, that's it, 10 small pans, but that's worth it. And last but not least would be the Island Time Palette that I got in here. It is a face palette. It is actually supposed to be um, blushes and a highlighter. If I can get it out of its sleeve. Oh, come on. You don't want to get stuck. You don't want to get stuck. See? And another heavy duty plastic component. This is literally what I was hoping the bigger ones would be in. But no, but okay, okay. And look at how beautiful that is. I'm really getting into blushes and bronzers. I always use highlight, but you know what? This is just gorgeous, especially this color up here. I love that deep seated corally peachy pink. It's just, it's everything. Let's see here. This is gotta, gotta be a collaboration. I 
I'm assuming this has got to be a collaboration, but it doesn't tell me. It doesn't tell me who with. However, the Bali highlighter that's in the center of this, this bad boy, mm, that bitch is beautiful. You can bet I'm going to be wearing that. Put it back in its fancy little storage box. Honestly, I love the packaging. Not going to lie. Like, the basic packaging for the Pro palettes is okay. It's kind of cheap and considering how expensive the palettes are. A little disappointing, but the packaging on these are literally everything. It's, it's giving me love. I love it. And last but not least is this little booklet that I mentioned came in this box. Um, this pairs up with the uh, Francisca uh, Tulat's uh, palette, eye palette that I bought, and it's about the infinite, and there's just a whole bunch of pictures in here of, well, not that one, of like women and their faces. Each one of them is wearing a makeup look created by this palette, and they're absolutely stunning, like this one, using the green. Ooh, 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 okay. I'm obsessed with this one. Um, I don't know a lot about Francisca Tuna other than she's an artist. And she's done um, a lot of uh, fancy high fashion type stuff and a bunch of photography. So she's a pretty cool badass woman um i'm gonna have to check her out some more because you know her stuff's cool man it really is and honestly everything that i got that um ran 126 dollars instead of me having to pay like 400 bucks is absolutely amazing i ended up getting two three four palettes here as well as six lipsticks, a baby highlighter in a color that I do not have yet and I know I'm going to be obsessed with, as well as two packs of makeup wipes. As far as the haul goes, that's a pretty damn good lot, especially from a higher end brand like Ofra who's famous for having really, really good stuff almost orgasmically good stuff, you know? So, unfortunately, my makeup and stuff's already done for today. I did it to match my hair, so I won't be using any of this now. However, stay tuned and pop on and see me soon before the end of the month. I plan on filming a couple of different looks and tutorials and stuff using some of my new Ofra stuff just to justify, uh, buying it and having it and adding it to my ginormous hoarding collection where I already need to buy another thing to put more stuff in. <laughs> so, you know, there's that. So I will actually catch you guys on the upside. You have a good night, beautiful, or a good day, whatever it is to you. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye. Feeling blue without you. Give me one more chance, give me one more dance.